Alright, today I'm going to do a sample of how I have my home network set up. First thing you need is an APC battery backup. For all the power outages I have here at the house, and I, and I don't know why, but seem to have a lot. I've got my uh, wireless router plugged in here. Then I have my uh, cable modem from the cable company. This is what they provide you with. Then I have my Lacey network attached storage. So the scenario is you lose power, that means your cable modem stays up, your wireless router stays up, and your network attached storage stays up. Uh, with the UPS you only have a certain amount of time, it's based on load, so the load from the router, cable modem, and the NAS determines how long that backup will keep you running. But if there's a surge or power outage, all of this stays on. Okay, so the first thing is the Lacey NAS and if you can look on the back of there you have two hard drives one here one here you have a power su power switch here Ethernet power here so what you do is take the Ethernet run it to the back of your wireless router turn it around here just plugs in the back okay um, have that one going to Xbox upstairs and the yellow one going to the cable modem and then you see your power going to your UPS uh, everything else in the house uh, is via wireless then down here you see your yellow cable, your cable modem cable connection, see all your link lights but the idea of the NAS is when you log on to your computer you just see a shared folder and you drag and drop all your files on there so I'm connected my laptop wirelessly here, uh, drag and drop the files over the wired network, they come through the ethernet that's attached here, and you just see it as a folder. Uh, the redundancy is if this hard drive fails, you simply pop that out, pop the new hard drive in, you're back up and running. This hard drive fails, same thing. The chances of them both failing at the same time are very rare. Um, so you don't have to do a backup in other words, that's the purpose of this. Uh, I would get real techie with you on RAID and all that other stuff, but let's just keep it simple. Uh, the techie guys will know what I'm talking about, but let's just say, for instance. Now, uh, so once again, this drive fails, pop it out, put a new one in, it rebuilds the RAID. This one fails, same thing. So you get redundancy. In other words, uh, it's easy and safe for all your data. Uh, the other thing is it, there's two USB ports in the back here so if you want to link another hard drive to here to, ex, to uh, expand your storage it'll let you do that you could attach another one of these or just your regular portable drive or if you want to copy stuff over just plug that in it also has a fan to keep it cool this is all heat sink and it runs 24 7 you can also it comes with software that lets you do all kinds of things fancy backups etc and then the last most important thing you want to have is if your house server catches on fire and you have all your important financial data all your pictures all your videos all your music anything important run in here you can grab this box tuck it under your shoulder and run <laughs> and you'll have everything also if it's in a fire really bad this thing will probably survive because it's uh, uh, the spinning disk inside if you really needed the data you could get it but that that was my thinking when I bought this versus building a, a Windows server and having to set up five hard drives to, or two two hard drives to or two or more hard drives to run a, uh, a RAID system uh, it uses less power than a PC I don't need a uh, a monitor keyboard or anything it just plugs in your set so that's a quick look at that. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave your comments below. Um, this is the Belkin, uh, Belkin wireless router, and this is the Lacey, I believe it's a two terabyte uh, NAS hard drive, and this is the APC uh, backup UPS. All right, so once again, any questions, comments, leave below. Uh, but that's how I do it. Um, and there's other ways to do it. Alright, thanks.